Hey, Todd here, and I want to talk about an item that is definitely needed on any solar build. Welcome to Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday, brought to you by Big Beard Battery. Visit BigBeardBattery.com. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. That has to do with the air conditioning, and that is what we call an easy start. Now, this is an easy start over here, and um, let me tell you uh, its job and what it's attempting to do. Um, most roof-mounted air conditioners, roof-mounted, I said roof, these days still have what we call a capacitor. Now, a capacitor temporarily stores electrical energy, so think of this as an empty battery uh, whenever the air conditioner is not on. And as soon as power comes on, right, there's an inrush of power that takes place, and the amp draw just, I mean, for a fraction of a second, could exceed 60, 70, 80 amps. You can check that by looking at the uh, compressor and looking at the LRA, locked rotor amps. How many amps does it take to go from a locked position uh, to actually spinning, right? So the capacitor helps out with that. Well, when we're using a solar system, we're using an inverter, which is either going to be 12 volts, 24 volts, or 48 volts. And what we have over here is 120 volts, and for the briefest of seconds, 60, 70 amps. Well, if we have a solar system, I'm pulling that from the batteries. And so my voltage goes from 120, let's just say down to 12. So 60 amps for a brief second becomes nearly 600 amps on that inverter. And the problem that we have without using a soft start is, is that the inverter isn't strong enough to get the starting amps needed to get your air conditioner going. So to prevent that from taking place, we can put in a little device like this. Now, this is an older version uh, from MicroAir, and it's called an Easy Start, okay? And what it operates is like a modified variable frequency drive. So, again, I have an empty capacitor, right? And as soon as electricity goes in there, it fills up. I mean, so fast, it fills up, fires off, and uh, creates a huge drain um, on the uh, supply side of the power. Well, this will actually receive the power, you know, coming out of the uh, capacitor, receives it, and then divvies it out into smaller chunks. So the end result, instead of having 60 amps uh, needed in order to get this started, I may have 17 or 18 amps, but it's popping it multiple times. I don't care how many times it pops, as long as it doesn't pop my inverter, as long as my battery doesn't go, wait a minute, that's way too much. So. An easy start is what you're looking for um, in the event you're putting on a solar system. In order to operate the air conditioners, you need an inverter big enough to run the air conditioner, but you also need an easy start and able to get it started. So, all builds, if you don't have that, have you noticed that your inverter struggles in order to get the air conditioner going? Now, yes, you can buy a super large inverter to help out with that, but you're still causing an undue draw that's not really necessary if you put on an easy start. Okay, so there's your tech tip. Hey, if you got questions about batteries or want to go ahead and put in a solar system, but need some guidance, head over to bigbeardbattery.com, fill out the solar design form, and one of our certified solar experts will give you a call and get you started.